It's bullshit. <laughs> it's Who are your favorite actors? Nowadays, none. Richard Burton, but he died 20 years ago. <laughs> Bob Dylan. There are some talented young kids. Do you think there. Dylan deserved that uh, Academy oh, I'm Award? Sure he deserves everything. He's the best. He does, though? I mean, after all these years? Well, he still deserves it. I didn't get to hear this song. What's that? Things have changed. I don't care anymore. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, that's basically how I felt. I wish I'd come here 20 years ago. Well, I mean, what do you think about on television, you know, what they show on television? Is it good for our society? No, I think it's terrible. It's really Should it be restricted? I think it should be. In I what really way, though? How would you restrict it? I don't it? know, because in this, with these free market ideologists, like in Europe, in the civilized countries in Europe, they have state television. But here, you would have these right-wingers running everything, and they're, they're such... It's all about false consciousness again. And they're such, they, they believe in this free enterprise system, but the, the things they put on the tube are so really you, bad. Do you support kids. social control of? I would, yeah. But who, where do we draw the line? That's who draws the line. It's not, I, you can't say where do we draw the George line. you want George Bush to draw the line? Well, that's the problem. You know, these free marketers, you can say that the market would control it, and it does, because it's all geared to advertising and corporate advertising, but it's smut. It really is. It's insidious stuff. Do you think it affects you? Well, I try not to watch it. So that would probably be the best solution, is not to watch it if you Yeah, don't. I didn't watch it. So television. wouldn't that be social control? Well, then you're not, if you're not watching television, they think you're weird, <laughs> is what it is. <laughs> they think you're weird. I mean, who hosted the Academy Awards? Do you know? Don't know. Steve Martin. So, you know, he's pretty funny. He is funny. So there's nothing wrong with Steve Martin making a few jokes. About no, him. and making money, too. It's all about money. I, I don't know. I didn't get... See, I'm disabled, so I couldn't see the films like Aaron Brockovich. That's probably a pretty good film. Um, what do you think about Julia Roberts? She's all right. She's a little bird. They're all little bird, huh? birds. <laughs> She's a good actress, I guess. I don't know. She's cute. No, oh, they're all cute. Look at the young girls in Boulder. They're gorgeous. <laughs> well, they're what about, cute. um, uh, how about that, do you know that uh, guy, uh, Russell Crowe, you know, the gladiator? I, I heard of him. I just saw a picture of him. I don't, I don't know anything about him. I don't know where they come from. Nowadays, they come from our society, and right, and they society. all start out as waiters in Hollywood restaurants and the yuppie, posh restaurants. But then, when they get on the Academy Awards, suddenly they're like. Uh, well, then they're obnoxious. They misbehave in public. Well, they have an attitude as though like uh, we need uh, special services. Is that what they're like? They're arrogant. Well, you know? uh, he happens to be somebody who's supposedly put a threat on him, and he's got. He's got uh, people uh, out to get him. So because he's young and famous or something well, like that? Well, he's also a, a philandering... Uh, yeah, they all are. He moves on from one woman to another. That's what they do. They've been doing that, I guess, from time immemorial. But, it, you know, the Hollywood stars in the 20s and 30s were notorious, too, for fucking each other over and around. That's what the rock stars did. Um, but uh, let's move back to Boulder. Uh, do you, what do you feel about the students being out of town and when they do get back oh, it's, to town? Well, it's always better when they're not here. But what about, how do you feel about the riots that occur? Oh, they're terrible. They're rioting over beer and football and things like that. But what about if they if rioted and they had a good reason to riot? Well, yeah, I was a rioter in the 60s. I had a good reason to riot, <laughs> to protest. You know, maybe we could bust them down here to the mall and they could start, uh, you know, ripping up the uh, corporate... Uh, franchises well yeah well there were kids like years ago protesting Abercrombie and Fitch and things and like borders that. now yeah borders that's that's good and the kids who protest the World Trade Organization that's really good but the kids the drunken fraternity jerks who, who just go bananas when the football team loses that's terrible it really is and the cars they drive is you terrible. And this guy Sure, do you want, you got anything to say about uh, society, TV? About TV? TV. Yeah. Test, my, my name's Mark Fletcher. About I gotta go. I TV? Gotta go. TV. Oh, I'll come back. Movies, Oscars. 
Julie, Julia Roberts, I watched her last night in Pretty Woman. I, I rented it. I don't know about Aaron Brockowitz, but uh, go see Hannibal. <laughs> yeah. Did you, what do you think, though, about those movies? Are they a bad influence on our children, or? Hannibal? Yeah. <laughs> do you think your kids should see it, or? Nope. But what's the best way for them not to see it? Well, let's ban them. Ban the kids? No, ban the movie. Oh, uh, you want to ban the movie? That's pretty. No, hard to I do. think I think you ought to wait till the kids are adults. Yeah. You don't take your kids so to I guess movies like that. Whose responsibility is it to keep the kids away? The parents. The parents. Yeah. That, that's where I was hoping I could lead you. Okay. I'm, I'm done. I You're finished, huh? Well. No finished. last comments. As a person who seems to live on the streets, do you have a? a uh, how, what's your perception of Boulder and how they treat you as a homeless person? Actually, uh, I am a homeless person, and uh, Boulder, Boulder treats us great. They do. <laughs> yeah, nobody goes hungry in Boulder. But wouldn't you rather have a place to sleep? Of course I would. <laughs> you know. So I was thinking maybe proposing that every homeless person who proved that they they couldn't get unemployment instead of the big tax cut, that they should all get five hundred dollars a month, you know, to do with what they want to do with it. You know that that would be a good move, but uh, do you think you would drink it all away, or do you think probably you would? I would? But, but there's a lot of people that uh, um, I, they they like being homeless. They like it. Yeah. Yeah. And there's reasons for that. It's because, uh, well, there's a lot of people that really can't or don't know how or don't have the means to work, you know, and yeah. make a living. Uh, there's some people that are mentally, mentally ill. Ill. And, uh, do you some, think they deserve a little helping hands? Of course they do.